Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be showing you the Diamondback Terrapin tank. So this is Hoku's tank. He is the Diamondback Terrapin that I did an unboxing video a little while back. I got him in May and so far he's been doing really really well so I thought I'd just give you guys a quick tour. So this tank is 29 gallons and it's just minimally decorated with some rocks that I got from a gravel yard. I can't exactly remember what type. Um, they are inert though. I know that they don't change your water's chemistry or anything, so they're safe. Um, and it just doesn't have a lot of stuff in it because I want to maximize the space Hoku has for swimming. Just because I already feel that this tank is a little small for him, so I want him to have as much swimming space as possible. But lately I've actually kind of been having a little bit of brown algae popping up. Um, so I think I might be adding some Valisneria plants just to use up some of those nutrients and hopefully I can grow that instead of algae. For equipment on here we have a AquaClear 70 for filtration. And that's doing a great job of keeping the water clean. For heating we have um, an Eheim 125 watt heater and that is keeping the water at about 80 and it's just a little warm just so I can keep any skin problems or shell problems that Hoku might have at bay because Diamondback Terrapins are actually a little more sensitive to water quality than most other turtles. Actually in the wild they live in brackish water which is a mixture of salt and fresh water. So that salt in the water usually is what keeps any skin problems or shell problems away. But when you keep them in fresh water, like I'm keeping with this guy, um, sometimes those things can pop up. So I am just keeping the temperature bumped up as a precaution. And he's been doing great, so we haven't had any problems. And then we have an LED light strip thingy here and it kind of hangs on the edge of the tank. I think it's called like Marineland LED, hidden LED lighting system or something. But I like that, it works well because then I don't have to have anything on top of the tank so I can have room for my above tank basking area. And this is the DIY basking area I made for him so that I wouldn't have to only have the tank half full if I, as if I had a floating basking dock. So this also helps maximize the amount of space he has for swimming. But I did make this on my own and all it is is just this plastic bin and then I zip tied a piece of plastic onto it and then I have it kind of suspended with these hangers so that it doesn't um, it doesn't be all flimsy when he tries to go up. I think I might do a video actually on how I made that dedicated just to that soon. But anyway, he's got his heat and UVB lights. For some reason the socket on the left side of the double dome somehow got broken and it doesn't work anymore so I had to get another fixture. So that's why there's three, but I'm only using two. And then we have the DIY hardware cloth top. Cause this guy is a little Houdini. So when I first got him, I didn't have a lid on the tank because my other turtle, Nemo, had never tried to escape. I thought, oh, he'll be fine. He won't try to escape or anything. But then one day I saw him, he was, up in this corner on top of the heater with his feet right on here trying to escape. So I know, uh-oh, better put a lid on that. So I had to put a lid on it. He did actually escape once before I finished making the lid. But luckily we found him. I literally had a panic attack like, oh my gosh, I can't lose my turtle, I just got him. But, you know. So now he's got the lid. Hoku Houdini ain't going nowhere. Um, also in the tank, you might have noticed, we've got some convict cichlids, and these are from Aquarium Co-op. So thank you, Corey, for these. And so far, no aggression. I think they're like too young to breed yet. But yeah, this is the tank.
As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Or if you have any questions about the tank or any suggestions on how to improve, feel free to leave those down below. And please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time.